God showed me. He said, Jenna, the only way that some of these people were going to give their life to me is through the sickness. And I just saw this vision of of these horrible, you know, this like horrible, like, um, like mass of people that got diagnosed and I felt like all this pain for them and it was like, Lord, like this is heavy stuff and he was like, remember when you went through your health battle the past couple of years? And I was like, yeah, because I've been through so much health issues, guys, that by the grace of God, he's like healed me through and let me be in remission from and like just so much that he's done. And, I, and he was like, remember when I brought you through that? And that's like really what actually grounded your faith back to me. And also like, um, like in the soul I was in, like that grounded my faith back to God. And it's like, there's these deep, devastating times that we have. And unfortunately, that's what it takes sometimes for our hearts to soften, for our heart posture to change. For us to really want to know who God is, to seek him for help, because at that point it's it's like hands up and and he was like, That's that's what it takes sometime is that. So he's allowing, you know, some some things to happen that's gonna be extremely painful for people to walk through and just know that God does not invent destruction. Satan is alive, the devil is real. But sometimes we get so fixated on, oh, is the devil, the devil is this, the devil is the government, the devil is this, they're trying to take our powers away, the devil is this. All Satan has to do is give you those ideas and let you destroy your own flock. That's what it is. And God was like, Satan is, is around you, but... It's so easy for you guys to destroy each other. It's so easy for you guys to to create destruction on your own. Like the devil doesn't even have to try as hard as sometimes we think he has to try. And that's sad. And that's why like, and I mean, everyone's entitled to their own opinion. I personally, I think the earth is round. <laughs> Like some Christians think the earth is flat. Just like crazy concepts, whatever you think what you think. But you get so consumed and oh, this, that, the devil, the, this, that, that. They're trying to take our powers away, this, that. You're actually causing it yourself. And all the devil had to do was give you that idea and you fueled the rest. And now you're looking for signs everywhere. You got to check your heart posture. You got to know that if God is for you, no one can be against you. You got to know that if there is, if God still wants you on this earth, then he will create a path for that to happen. Your purpose isn't complete yet, but we never know until our, we never know. But God wants you to not create those things too. The devil is a liar. But there's so many Christians that are so hypocrites. They're just hypocrites and they're not nice people. There's that one, what's that one guy that Sean Floyd, was his, I think Sean Floyd, is that his name? Like he's a whole different discussion. I'm embarrassed sometimes to be, to call myself a Christian because of these people that are like word vomiting, different, even like, oh, it's like Trump supporters. It's over. I'm sorry. You, you're going to, you, and it's, some of you are like, the world will persecute us. No, it's because you don't act like Jesus. It's because you're violent. It's because you say that you want, you want, you want the right to speak, but you're out there doing riots. No one's taking away your freedoms right away. The only people that are taking away your freedoms is your actions that are getting there. And you're putting a bad name on Christians. It's like, I'm embarrassed. God is a God of love and restoration and transformation. We need to get back to the heart of that. And it's important to stand up for, to what you believe in because God is a just God. But sometimes we need to stop creating these images in our head because Satan, which I believe is real and true spiritual warfare, 
all he has to do is dangle the idea in front of us and we run with it and we create more problems. We need to be praying for our nation and, and know and believe that God can use Biden. God can use Biden. You're so distraught that Trump didn't win. Do you not know that God knew this before it was going to happen? Right there. You don't really trust God. And I believe a lot of Trump supporters don't even actually follow God. And that's why they like Trump is because they have an authority problem and they don't want to submit to God. And they, they like say that they do, but they don't. That's why they're so obsessed with the freedom of speech and all these other things. And I know it's deeper than that, and I'm not saying everyone is, but if you feel offended by this, maybe you're part of the problem. I'm just saying. I mean that with compassion. Like, I have friends and family members that I need to be saved. And they're not going to be saved if they look at me and I'm acting like this crazy person, which I'm, I'm not a Trump supporter. I'm just saying that right now. I think he's psychotic. <laughs> I don't care if he's anti-abortion. There's other ways to do that. Like, I'm, he is, he has a whole different conversation. Like, let's just keep it real. Let's keep it real. Anyways, <laughs> this is going to get heated up, but go watch the Michael Brown video. He has a lot of good points and I will see you guys in my next video.